Looking like a day for bed sharing. First scoop of the day, let's stay at my van. Sweet, bit of refine. What are you looking at, bruv? They're alley, so they go as on the alley. Oh, I'll stake me box. The motors have got out the last. Uh, in the microwave out the last video. Half copper that one. Sick. About three quid. Three quid's worth. Next. I thought it's something around here. I just want to see what it is. It looks like an appliance. Scrappy bits here. Valley, nice. No coppery bits or brassy bits in there. Oh well, next. Well, it's all quiet here in Vanderland. There really isn't much left. You better cross them paws. A chuffing box. Oh, just cut the scrappy bits down there. It's a bit of a walk. Stay door. Stay. Do, 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 do. Just a couple of bits, nothing special. Nothing special at all. Scrap, scrap, I guess. A little bit of shearing, that's the only good thing about that. Boom. Next. I spoil my little eyes. Something beginning with P. It's a pot. Bit of scrap. Bit of scrap there. Any more scrappy bits? Always check the bins, you never know. I found taps in the recycling bin once. Take him. You can make noise while I do it. Hold up. Let's see more. Oh, yeah. Sick.
It's like Northern Save the Day again. <laughs> For a place that I'm bored of, it's doing, uh, it's doing all right. Bit of refine. So, feels like I need it. Yeah. Cool. What's in the bag? What is in the bag? Old smelly pair of trainers. It's metal. Got a few scrappy bits. A bit of shearing. And all that jazz. Um, yeah. We've got a long way to go before we fill this van up. Uh, I used to be a time I used to be able to do it in one day. Well, I think that's the end of this trip out. I'm in Bassett. There's not a lot of point in being here this time of day because it's done. And I uh, just saw a scrap truck going up the other way. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go to Greg's. Oh, we've got some totally rad rags here. Why do you keep falling over? It's doing my brain in. Wow, that's quiet, Randall. Well done. Well done, mate. That's it, a bit of alley. I'll take it. Radio then, mate. Right, we're done. We're done for today. Well, we're done for this morning anyway. So we found some bikes. We found some aluminum. Uh, a wheel that goes refined. No, no idea what that is. Whatever it is, it's stainless, so that's pretty jazzy. Got the obligatory tumble dryer these days. Uh, got a radiator there. What's on that? Ah, uh, a little bit of brass on there. A uh, bit of refine there, them chairs. Uh, what else do we get? A microwave from the uh, last video. It was pot. What's that made out of? It's got to be iron, isn't it? Iron. Oh, stainless top. Alley bottom, I guess, is it? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Quality guaranteed, yada yada yada. Uh, doesn't say whether it's. That'll be Ali, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's Ali. Cool beans. Uh, what's that? Iron. That was iron. They're iron. It's definitely Ali. Magnet trying to kill me. And that's it, guys. It's a bunch of rubbish today. Really, not much. So, what I'm going to do. Stick that over there. So. I was going to stack my brass and my copper, but I've got bills to pay and I've got to renew my insurance. So, I'm going to take this home. I'm going to clean it all up. And the next time we get weighed and paid, I'm going to weigh it in as well. There won't be a much. It'll be a couple of kilos of heavy, a couple of kilos of new tube. And... Don't know, hopefully around 10 kilos of brass would be nice. That'd be lovely. What have we got in there? Not much. Apart from that, we've just got some motors. So this one, that was half copper. These are just your standard rubbish, basically. Ah, oh, that's a bit of copper on there. Oh, one, one. What else have you got on there? I've got a motor. My drill is probably broken because I've been abusing it. Uh, brass on there, is it? No, that's it. 
Right. Hopefully I'll get a few collections to do and uh don't know, I might go out later, or I might not. We'll see. Anyway. I'll catch up with you guys. Well for you, it'll be momentarily. For me, it'll probably be tomorrow. I've always got time to pluck and chuck some jump leads. Absolutely. They feel light though, so uh, they're probably aluminium. Damn. Feed you. Is there one local to here then? Uh, Huntley's Crescent Road. It's up uh, the other side of Sherman. Uh, okay. Oh, you should go down Port Yeah, they've got one down there as well, actually. Huntley's. Have they? Yeah, it's only a little one. There we go. Archimedes is one that I use. I only do copper and cable. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got anything else? No, I was going to say, if you've got a number, I've yeah. got a few jobs in Southampton. Yeah, yeah, take my number. Yeah. yeah. Point your phone, there's no point giving me your card, because you'll lose it. But yeah. Point your phone, you'll have it. Uh, stainless uh, 07. I'm going to strip this down, that's all stainless. I'm going to strip it down and get the value out of it, so is that... I can't feel it though, it's a bit dark and uh, it's starting to rain. But uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Nice. There's the top off. Some nice bits of brass and alley on it. A bit of cable. Top. A lovely bit of stainless. Right. Let's kill this off. She's stripped. That's that's not stainless. Got a few, quite a few bits off it. This is not all of it. Little bits of brass. Brass. It's all alley. More alley in there. It's all stainless. That's stainless, that's stainless, that's stainless, that's stainless, that's stainless, there's loads of stainless. Well, there's a nice bit off it anyway, I'll just kept some of the cables. Right, let's get this tidied up. And fill this van up and weigh it in. Vast as dust. so far plastic let me over take that we'll take any metal we can get we'll make some noise while I do it 
ましてね、うん、That's it so far. Let's hope it, it、uh, improves. I can't even talk properly. Scrappy bits here. Why not? There's really nothing else. <coughs> Something just there as well.、Ugh. Blind. Is it an aluminium blind? No. It's plastic. We can't take that type of plastic. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Box of goodies over here. Blue straight past it. Uh, uh, uh. The vandal's here. The vandal's here. Hide your scrap. Hide it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to s e v e Nice bit of short still. Oh my days. I have to sort out up the road. It's too, too noisy. That is heavy. Sick. I'll take it. Why, oh, why do you keep falling over? <sighs> Some scrappy bits over here. Over here. It's not, not here, not here. What have we got? What have we got? Yeah. Take that. I thought that subwoofer was a blinking microwave, but it's not.、Uh, it's not as much as I thought there would be. Leave nothing. Grab a couple of cords. The old snippy snippy. Look, there'll be a big transformer in there. Let's just hope it's not a Decepticon. We've had enough of them. Right, we ain't got far to go on the round, so、uh, we need to tidy this van up and get the Griggs. Pronto. Oh, hello. Oh, Mr. Vandal, Mr. Vandal. I've watched all of your videos. 
have you? Have you really? Yeah, I've seen every single one of them. Well, in that case, you can ride up front with me. Oh, really? That's a dream come true. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you're riding up front. Uh, 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 city fans. Did I see a vacuum? Is there a cord on it? Is there some cordage? I'm saying no. I'm wrong. I like being wrong. Sick. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. All right, Greg's. Look at the state of it in here. All right, I've got some refine. I've got some alley. That's alley. Got some light. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go to the yard, I'm going to weigh off all the shearing first. I've only got a little bit of light, so this, this cooker, oven, whatever it's called, should go shearing now, so I've removed all the glass and insulation and stuff. It's pretty clean. Uh, we've got a bunch of stainless down here off that oven. Quite a bit, some alley there, we've got a fan. Uh, it's, uh, it's mostly shearing, so I'm going to chuck that out, and the only thing I'll have left is a tumble dryer, a fan, that box, which I'm hoping to strip down, that subwoofer. And that's it, so I might just keep it on board. Uh, don't know, I might weigh off. I'll see how I feel. I'll see how it goes. Right. Also, up front we got some stuff. So up front I've got some new tube. That's a uh, copper tube, number one. Only a little bit. I don't know, five kilos or so. We've got some heavy copper, number two. Probably another five kilos. And in here we've got we got some brassy goodness. It's probably, I don't know, 10, 12 kilos in there, I guess. It's something, my insurance is due, and it needs to get paid. Right, so I might spare you guys the chaos that's about to happen at the scrapyard, and uh, I don't know, I might, I might add a bit, I might not. But if I don't, I'll see you back here. Why well, not here, at the scrapyard, to get weighed and paid. Let's go at me! Time to sort this mess out. This is not going to be free. Motors are making me work for them, please. Right. Fit. Uh. This is shit. The weight and paint. 
We got weighed and paid, but before we do that, I just want to say a big shout out to, is it S Stephen Kennelly? Is it Neil or Kennelly or Keneal? I'm sure it's Kennelly, Stephen Kennelly. Uh, he chucked five pound in my PayPal for me and he said, get yourself a sausage roll and a cup of coffee on me. So I did. Thank you very much, buddy. I really, really appreciate it. I didn't notice it till uh, yesterday. So I'm sorry, it went in on the 8th and it's uh, it's been a while since. I didn't get the notification. So I apologize, but thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. There's nothing, you can't beat a free Greg's. Like, seriously, right. We got weighed and we got paid. What did it weigh? What did it pay? I'm about to tell you. Right, we had heavy copper. We had four kilos at five pound fifty-five a kilo for two pound twenty, uh, twenty-two pound twenty. Sorry. We had new tube. We had three kilos at five pound seventy-five a kilo at seventeen pounds and twenty-five p. We had brass. We only had twelve kilos at three pound seventy-five a kilo. Yeah, uh, forty-five quid. Alley, we had six kilos at 82 pence a kilo for £4.92. Irony Alley, we had 10 kilos at 30 pence a kilo for three quid. Stainless, nine kilos, 88 pence a kilo for £7.92. Light iron, we had 80 kilos, £100 a tonne, £8 on that. Shearing steel, we had just over a quarter of a tonne at 260 kilos for uh, £180 a tonne, that's 18 pence a kilo for £46.80 and, and motors we only had 5 kilos at 48 pence a kilo for £2.40 which gave us a final sum of, of £157.49p minus the £1 fee Woo uh, that was alright that was the, uh, the brass and the copper I basically collected over the last 10 to 12 days I think it was when we were out doing the uh, bank holiday weekends and all that jazz so that was all right yeah not too shabby all right i'm gonna go home put this video together and uh hopefully it's not as bad as the last few have been i know you guys haven't liked it i've i've been a bit mischievous i'll admit but it's only because i'm a good guy right i swear it uh right that's it that's all i got for you guys that is it for this one until the next one be cool be kind or try and be and until then keep it 10 love Oh, and if you like this one, please give it a pause up. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Because I seem to lose more than I gain these days. Oh, well.